Finally, 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 Android 12 Pixel Experience official build available for the POCO F1. Hey peeps, what's up Manji here, back with another video and finally we have official build of Pixel Experience based on Android 12 available for the POCO F1. The security patch is from January 2022, the kernel they are using is Etude kernel, AC Linux is set as enforcing out of the box and this is how the ROM comes out of the box. You do have Pixel Launcher in the building, select works without any issues, screenshot also works without any issues you can share the screenshot and you can edit it as well if i go into the settings page and try to take a screenshot over here you will notice that i do have the option of capture more once i tap on this i have another pane wherein i can select what all content i want to capture and the magnification glass effect of android 12 for extended screenshots is working without any issues as well Next up, let us access our recents one more time and as you can see, you can share your link from the recent and similarly you can share, copy, save the images from the recents as well. So that feature is working absolutely fine as well. Now you do have a clear all button on the left. Let us have a look at the power menu. So this is how the power menu is going to look like and as for the volume panel, bam, this is how the volume panel is going to look like. The expanded volume panel is at the bottom then as for the quick settings panel this is how the quick settings panel is going to look like and as you can see we do not have the additional tiles of wi-fi and your mobile data now do note this here is pixel experience which means you get the experience which you get on pixel devices and before you ask me do you get the pixel 5 experience or the pixel 6 experience you get the Pixel 5 experience on this specific build of Pixel experience based on Android 12 for the POCO F1. Next up, as you can see, the weather is working absolutely fine. Let us go into home settings and here are the different customization options which you have at a glance is present works without any issues as for your widgets here are the widgets which are available once you have updated your applications from the play store you do get the new clock widget and if you go into google you do get the new weather widgets as well then we can go back into your wallpapers and style and this here is your material you in the building you of course have the option of themed icon you can change your application grid as well you can switch between the different wallpaper accent colors or use basic colors in case you want to let us go ahead and change the wallpaper now you do have the bloom wallpaper which are supposedly pixel exclusive you have the option of downloading the bloom live wallpapers as well let us go ahead and apply this specific wallpaper and as you can see the accent color has changed to this new wallpaper let us check out the quick settings menu and as you can see the accent color has changed to this new color same applies for your volume panel as well then you can also try enabling your dark theme to see how it looks and here it is this is your quick settings panel this here is your power menu this here is your volume panel icons and everything has adapted to dark theme and this is how the settings page is going to look like once you have enabled dark theme on your poco f1 running pixel experience based on android 12. Next up, let us open the application drawer, try to search for something and there it is. You can see that system wide search is working without any issues. Next up, let us head over to the settings page and this is how the settings page is going to look like. Nothing much to talk about in network and internet connected devices. If you go into apps, let us go into say Chrome, then we can go into the permissions of Chrome. So these here are the different options for permissions and you also have a toggle to remove permissions and free up space if the app is not used for some time and once an application is removed it will show up in the unused apps section then here are your default apps pixel launcher pixel messages pixel phone app all of those are baked in yes game dashboard is enabled out of the box and once you enable that toggle 
open any game you will see this arrow on the right hand side tap on this you will see a controller tap on the controller and bam these here are your customizations for your game dashboard and you can of course enable your screenshot screen recorder and fps tile or fps meter and this floating bar can be pinned to different sides of the phone now do note optimization is available for specific games only and it is the game which has to enable that optimization you cannot do that explicitly back into settings let us go into notifications and here in you of course have your per app notification control then you also have notification history once you enable this master toggle priority conversations are there along with bubbles do note that whatsapp does not support bubbles right now then you can configure your notifications on the lock screen you can configure your do not disturb on a people app or alarm basis and of course you can schedule your do not disturb as well then you have toggles for all the different options which you see on your screen right now jumping over to battery so here in of course you do have your thermal profiles and you have only two options for thermal profiles either gaming or no optimization which you can of course choose on a per app basis then you have your battery usage graph as well along with battery saver and yes you do have the pixel 5 exclusive extreme battery saver adaptive battery is there you also have a toggle to turn on the light when the phone is charging along with a toggle to enable or disable the battery percentage in your status bar next up we have sound and vibration so here and you of course have your sliders for the different volume levels you can choose a ringtone for each of your sims and along with that you also have adaptive sound and you can also configure your media player in the quick settings go into vibration and haptics here and you can control your vibration for calls and then you can also control your vibration for ringtone the notification and your touch feedback along with that you have toggles for all the different options which you see on your screen right now then we have display so in display you of course have your brightness level adaptive brightness is there and as you can see it works without any issues go into lock screen here and of course you can add a custom text to the lock screen and do you want to see the wallet and device controls along with that you also have ambient display so you have pickup hand wave and pocket all these options are working without any issues then if you go into your screen timeout you can configure the timeout the option which is missing over here is the option for screen attention dark theme is there and you can schedule it as well then you can change your font size you can change the display size and as like dark theme you can also configure your night light and you can also schedule it as well then you have auto rotate screen along with a toggle for face detection and as you can see auto rotate screen is working without any issues going back into display you also have your screensaver double tap to wake is there works without any issues most of the options of wallpaper and style have been covered then with respect to security you only have the option of fingerprint unlock which works fine super fast and unfortunately no face unlock on any android 12 rom which is based on aosp for now next up we have privacy so first up in privacy you do have your privacy dashboard wherein you can see what all have access to your location your camera your microphone then you have toggles for camera access microphone access show passwords while you are typing and show clipboard access do note you also have quick setting tiles to enable or disable your mic access and camera access so how does this work let us open the camera application go into video mode try to record a small video now the video is recording you will notice on the top right of my status bar i have a green dot if i expand it tap on this it is telling me that the video and the camera are being used by camera go so let us go ahead and disable the microphone access there it is you can see that microphone access has now disappeared and only video camera is being used by camera go mic has disappeared and if i make this available mic has now appeared back so that is your privacy feature which google has added with android 
12. Next up, we have the option of digital well-being and parental controls. Again, this is same old as Android 11, nothing new over here. Then we can go into system. Now, herein you do have your live translate, but unfortunately, live translate is not working on YouTube. Then we have gestures. You can, of course, quickly open the camera by pressing the power button twice. You have your system navigation, so three different options. And if you go into the settings for gestures, you can swipe to invoke the assistant then you can configure the sensitivity of the left edge and the right edge and if you want to use two button navigation or old school three button navigation you have the option for that as well one handed mode is there and it works without any issues then you can press and hold the power button for assistant and once you enable this toggle you can configure your press and hold duration as well and before you ask me how do you turn off your device if you're using the power button for assistant use your expanded quick settings press on this power button and you should be able to reboot your device in case you want to do that next up you also have prevent ringing now for this to be enabled you have to disable your power for assistant and once you do that this is enabled and you can configure what you want to do when you press power and volume up together because the other way of turning off your device or accessing the power menu is by pressing power and volume up together in case you have enabled this hold for assistant option then in settings and system you also have one option called rules so herein if you want to configure say once i leave my home i want the wi-fi to be turned off and bluetooth to be turned on that is something which you can configure over here then we can check for safety net so we are using something called yet another safety net attestation checker and as you can see safety net is passing out of the box do note device is not rooted right now we can also go ahead and open the google Play Play store go into about here it is you can see that play protect certification says device is certified this means you should be able to use your banking apps without any issues with respect to youtube media playback everything works absolutely fine live caption works picture in picture works of course for picture in picture you either need to have youtube premium or you need to be in a specific country in case you do not want to pay for youtube premium now with respect to your google photos yep what you get here is unlimited photos from this specific device in original quality so that is something which they have done and if i go ahead and try to edit a picture of my favorite football star wait for this loading bar to finish go into tools portrait light bam here it is portrait light available working without any issues of course it is only going to work on human objects portrait light does not work on my chicken friend over here then with respect to your magic eraser that feature is not there and the assistant lady is there she works with the screen turned on and with the screen turned off as well and you also have interpreter mode wherein you can communicate with somebody who does not talk your language you can use the assistant's interpreter mode to communicate with them now unfortunately for your messages if you go ahead and try to voice type you get the old pixel 5 style you do not get the new pixel 6 style message typing and we can also go ahead and check out the recorder application and we can try to record something and see if the transcript mode is working or not so yes the transcript mode in your recorder application is working without any issues Next up, let us have a look at some app opening animations to see if you have any jitters or any lags in the app opening animations. So as you can see, app opening animations are pretty smooth. Let us also try to access our recents and again, no issues with respect to the recents as well. Google feed, you can access your Google feed. Once the content has cached, then the feed is pretty smooth. No jitters and no lags in the feed either. Transition from your Google feed to the home screen is pretty smooth as well. We can also try to switch between a few applications and take out the gesture for that. And as you can see, the gesture is working absolutely fine. No lags, no jitters in that regard either. So what is the final take on Pixel Experience Android 12 stable build for the Poco F1? Well, in my humble opinion, awesome ROM 
and awesome features but unfortunately the pixel experience which you are getting is from the google pixel 5 and not from the google pixel 6 so if you're looking for pixel 5 pixel experience then yes pixel experience is there but if you're looking for the pixel 6 pixel experience then you would have to look elsewhere and that will do it for this video Hope my video helped you. Likes, shares and subscribes are appreciated. Feedback and comment more than welcome. See you when I see you.